Hi, welcome to RLB Artbox Studio video instructions. For the month of August, we are creating an art project called Looking Sharp. Step one, lay out all of your supplies and look over your visuals and directions. There's a lot of stuff in this box, so make sure you explore everything. Step 2A, locate the drawing guide, a sheet of watercolor paper, and a pencil. Step 2B, lightly sketch out a drawing with the pencil. Use the drawing guide as a reference. Now this may seem a little scary for some, especially if you don't draw a lot, but don't worry, start off with a sketch, erase if you need to, and try, try, try again. You will come up with something that you love. Step 3A, experiment with the orange crayon included in your art box. Color in the background or a section of your drawing. Of course, this step is purely optional. Because crayons are made from wax, the wax will repel the watercolor paint. So you can use this to your advantage when you are working with crayon and watercolor. We call this a resist. The watercolor will actually push away from the wax that is included in the crayon. So this is a really cool technique that you can use when you are working with crayon and watercolor paint. Step 4A, fill your water cup and prepare your watercolor paints. Watercolor tubes allow the artist to mix their own colors. Squeeze a small amount of color into the mixing tray in one of the wells. Add water, then mix. You will do this for all the desired colors. You also have a tube of white paint included. Experiment with this. You can lighten up the colors, make them more pastel if you'd like, and you'll also notice that when you are squeezing the tubes of paint, a little bit of like um, this water liquid will come out of the tubes of paint. Just squeeze it onto a paper towel. Step 5A, using your brush of choice, paint your sketch with pure water, one area at a time. We will be using the wet on wet painting technique. Step 5B, introduce a light layer of color to your sketch. Each area may be a different color. This is called a wash. You will notice that some of the paints will bleed into one another if you paint the neighboring section immediately. To avoid this, paint one section, move to another area, then return once the paint is dry. Step 5C. Allow the first layer of paint to dry. A pro tip, with watercolor paint, it requires the artist to paint many layers of color. While working with watercolor paint, you must let the paint do what it wants. That is the glory and also the challenge of watercolor paint. Over blending the colors will result in a muddy appearance. Remember to be patient. Step 6 a. Continue to add color layers to your sketch. Allow your paint to dry between each layer of color. Pro tip. If you notice large poolings of liquid on your paper, you can blot with a paper towel or you can use your brush to soak up the unwanted pooling. Step 6B. Once you are satisfied with your painting, set it aside and allow it to dry completely. Step 7A. Once your painting is dry, use the fine tip sharpie marker to outline everything while also adding some details. A pro tip, when you're outlining and adding details, you can hide unwanted mistakes, especially if there's colors where you don't want them. Add a detail there. Step 7B, continue to jazz up your artwork. Step 8A, congratulations on your finished watercolor painting. Step 8B, be sure to show us your work. Use hashtag RLBArtBoxStudio and post to Facebook or Instagram. We cannot wait to see your artwork.